You've probably noticed the RGB look is coming back in music videos and commercials to give footage an old school vibe. So I'm going to show you how to very quickly give your footage the RGB look in Adobe Premiere Pro. This effect will make your footage look slightly out of focus, which is how older retro footage looks. And when you're choosing footage to add this look to, pick footage where the subject or something in the clip is moving because that's where you'll really see this effect take shape. Let's go into our effects tab and type in color balance and in the image control folder you'll find the color balance RGB effect. Drag that onto your clip and next let's go to the effect controls tab and the first thing we're going to do is change our opacity blend mode from normal to linear dodge add. Next underneath the color balance effect let's make sure red is set to 100 and green and blue are set to 0. With this clip on the timeline selected, let's hold down Alt or Option on our keyboard and drag upwards onto the V2 track to create a duplicate of the clip. And with the duplicate clip selected, let's undo the color balance effect so it goes back to its default. And now we'll change red to zero, have green set to 100 and change blue to zero. I'll do this one more time. So we'll select that duplicate clip, hold down Alt or Option again on our keyboards and drag the clip up to create an additional duplicate clip on the V3 track. Select that third duplicate clip, refresh the color balance effect, change red to zero, green to zero, and keep blue at 100. We can't yet see the effect of this effect because what we need to do is move each of these clips over on our timeline by a frame or two. Select the clip on the V3 track and hold down Command or Control on your keyboard and hit the right arrow key to move the clip over four frames. And you can start to see the blue of the RGB effect show on the edges of me. Next, select the second clip, hold down Command or Control on your keyboard, and use your right arrow to nudge this clip over to the right two frames. I'm just going to trim the beginning of these clips. Let's watch this back. Cool, so there you go. That's how you create the RGB effect in Primer Pro. Thanks for checking this video out. If you wanna learn more from us, we have over 60 filmmaking tutorials on our channel. So subscribe to see the latest. We'll see you in another video.